Welcome back to the adventure. Today we're installing the Arachne web browser for MS-DOS. Browsing the web in DOS has its drawbacks, like low screen resolution and limited color palette. However, it's surprisingly better than using a browser under Windows 3X. It boils down to support for TLS, or Transport Layer Security. TLS is required when accessing a secure website. Browsers like Arachne have support for it, where Internet Explorer and Netscape Navigator do not. For this project, we will need the Arachne installer package, a mouse driver like Cute Mouse, a packet driver and NDIS 2.0 driver for our Ethernet network card, and the MTCP network client. Arachne requires a majority of conventional memory to be free, so to get started, we will need to edit our config.sys and autoexec.bat files. We want to remove or remark any lines that are not needed. In my case, the CD-ROM will not be in use, so I'm adding REM to the beginning of those lines. Next, we need to create two new directories, one for drivers, and another for MTCP. I have created a disk image with those drivers on it. We will copy those files to the drivers directory. Now we will mount the disk image containing the MTCP client. Copy the files to the MTCP directory. Now to create a batch file to load the packet driver. Start off with at echo off, then enter the path to the packet driver. For the driver I'm using, we need to add the parameter int equals 0x60. The syntax may be different for your packet driver, but the address 0x60 is very common. Save and exit, then run the batch file to load the packet driver. The driver loaded successfully, and we have a MAC address. Now we need to create a configuration file for MTCP. To do that, open the sample configuration file, scroll down to the host name, and enter the name of the PC. We can use the name Retro PC. When done editing, click on File and Save As. Name the file tcp.cfg. Now we need to tell MTCP to use the configuration file we created. Type in set mtcpcfg equals followed by the path to the configuration file. To test that we have connectivity, we can run the DHCP utility. We have an IP address, perfect. Insert the disk image with Arachne on it, then run the installer package. Press Y at the prompt to install. When the files finish copying, Arachne will open. Here we have the setup wizard. Select the setting that is appropriate for your system. As we are using a virtual machine with plenty of resources, we can select fast and optimized PC, then click next. The default for these settings are good. We do want the batch file created for launching Arachne. Click Next. Select the screen resolution you want. For now, I'm going to stick with 640 by 480. Now we need to select the option for Packet Wizard. Since the packet driver is already running, we can select Detect Packet Driver. Fantastic, the packet driver detected successfully. Click Continue. 
click on the button for boot TP or DHCP. To finish, we need to go through the email setup. You are welcome to enter valid information on these screens. For demonstration purposes, we can leave the auto-populated stuff here. No changes necessary in the local settings. Scroll to the bottom and click OK slash save. This is the default homepage for Arachne. Let's try going to Google. We can search and attempt to visit any of the websites in the results. Some will load close to normal, and others may not load at all. One site we can get to is a list of interesting DOS programs. Let's try to download one of these programs, like TestDisk here. Using Arachne does require a little patience. No dice. We can try downloading the Lynx browser. That could be interesting. Oh, this takes us to an external site that appears to have loaded OK. Now to hunt down the download button. Give it a click and wait. That also did not work. One last attempt here. Let's try MPX Play. Being able to play these various types of audio files in DOS would be nice. Wait for it. Also, no. I promise you can actually download some files. Maybe this site is just not cooperating today. We can try downloading some DOS USB drivers here on this page. Now we're getting somewhere. This dialog box allows us to save the file. I'm skeptical of what it's trying to download, so I'm going to skip it. One last destination is for Windows 3X resources. There are CGA and EGA drivers, various versions of Internet Explorer, and among other things, TCP32B, which we can try downloading. Fantastic! We have the dialog box with the folder path. Now click the Save button. Note that loading these pages and attempting to download files can take several minutes to complete. The symbol in the upper right hand corner will flash different colors and patterns when there is some kind of activity. Arachne is more than just a web browser. By clicking on the menu icon or pressing F10 on the keyboard, you can access the desktop which includes a file explorer, email client, and dialer. Let's click on your computer and take a look. We have the option to browse any of the available drives on the system. From here, we can navigate through the directory tree and select a file. Some files that are text in nature can be opened and displayed in Arachne, like the autoexec.bat file, for example. Arachne also includes an email client, however we don't have a valid account configured, so we won't have much to look at. At this point, we have Arachne installed, configured, and ready to browse to the best of its ability. After the outro, there will be some additional footage of pages trying to load in real time. Subscribe for more videos like this, and click the bell so you don't miss them. Thanks for stopping by, see you next video.